Now let's go to KEZI 9 News reporter Jacob Roberts who joins us live from outside the hospital this morning. And Jacob, can you tell us what it looks like right now? Yeah, well, Chris, we're here at the main entrance to the hospital right now where we just witnessed some of those workers heading on strike come out of the door there. I'm here with Rachel, CNA here at uh, the hospital. And uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing out here today. Today, I am out here to advocate for my patients and to vocalize for them and their safety and unite along with my coworkers in going against strike um, against McKinsey Willamette and their unfair practice that they've been doing against their workers. So I'm their voice. What are some of the issues that you've been running into throughout the, these negotiations and while you're at work? We got some more folks coming out here right now too, also heading out on the strike, but what is it that's going on in there? Um, I, I mean, we are bargaining um, for fair wages, competitive wages against the local competing areas here. Um, again, advocating for my patients and their safety for our benefits to be reasonably met and matched here instead of astronomical, like they proposed an astronomical rate for our benefits packet here. Um, for fair COVID pay and hazard protection for the employees. This must be a really hard decision to make when healthcare workers are so needed right now to, to walk out like this. How do you deal with that? I don't want to go on strike. This isn't my desire to go on strike, but management has forced their members to go on strike. Management has forced us to unfortunately come to this decision to make to go on strike. So that's why we're out here today and we've um, experienced this. This has been coming for clinical and non-clinical staff as well too. And I want to stress that as well. It's an unprecedented time for everyone. And at the beginning of 2020, when the pandemic hit, we were dispersed to what's called labor pool. And so I was put in the kitchen stocking shelves and they are now trying to outsource the kitchen staff, the dietary linen and kitchen department. And I've seen them work so hard in their department for 20, you've had people here for 20, 30, 40 years that they're just going to disregard, that they completely don't have um, empathy or sympathy right. for them and their family situations. A lot of concerns that I'm sure are shared by you and the other 400 plus frontline workers that are going to be heading on strike. Again, that ends on Thursday at 7 a.m. We did reach out to the hospital who say they are committed to negotiating in good faith on uh, this union deal. So we will see what happens. Rachel, thank you for sharing your viewpoint with us. Yes, thank you for having us here. Reporting live in Springfield, Jacob Roberts, KEZI 9 News.